What's going on, everybody? I'm professional singer David Braley, and I am here with some brand new stuff. We're checking out The Voice. Uh, it's about time I take a look at a show with three judges who are in the industry and know what they're talking about. So I'm looking forward to this. I'm going to go back to Dylan Carter, where he apparently is going to bring the judges to tears with a Whitney Houston song. To be honest with you, I'm really excited to hear a different spin on a beautiful song sung by such an icon. Again, this is Blind. This is the Blind Judges reaction, and it's my Blind reaction. Here we go. Wow. Yeah, that's pretty good. <laughs> After all that I've been through. Uh huh. Yeah. Yes, yes. I look to you. Oh, okay. Nice. All of them. He won the goosebump. Yep. Wow. Wow, that was that was really nice. That was really nice. That first um when he opened up on I look to you, he did a very I look to you rather than a ooh, you know what I mean? But it, it worked for him. I look to you would be just kind of a little uns like a, it's it's harder to sustain especially for a man and ooh vowel is a is a bit tough but the rest at the rest of that tune and even that i mean that sounded great just noting that this is the vowel he used instead of the ooh he used a uh, uh or instead of an ooh and um yeah wow i, I think that's a, a beautiful cover man Don't, Gwen Stefani, okay? don't call people cute. I'll okay. audition. Yeah. Okay. <laughs> What's your name? My name's Dylan Carter. I'm 20 years old. Oh my gosh. And I'm from South Carolina. Oh. Yeah, you are. I love that song. I love the songs when you can take it spiritual or secular, yeah. either one. Yeah, yeah. Mm -hmm. So much emotion. So much so emotion. Much. And I saw it and I felt it. I heard it when you were singing. Mm -hmm. That's the kind of songs that make... Oh. Yeah, uh, that do that to me too, cause I. Yeah, man, that's a that's that's a powerful thing. Um, a lot of those a lot of those songs that are quite that have, are religious in background, or even not, but can be connected to a uh, a spirituality that you hold dear. It it pulls some emotion, um, really incredible emotion, and uh, it's clearly it's it's viral. You know what I mean? Everybody likes that. Oh, you get so emotionally involved mm -hmm. and that's when you know you've got a great song and a great singer yeah. when it touches your heart it's a way Thank to go you. on that that means so much well to me as a performer that is when you really hone in to why you're put on this earth is to touch people's hearts and you did wow bam <laughs> thank you got nothing to say to yeah 100 percent. that's right wow you made the queen cry <laughs> in the best way possible. I don't know yeah. who he is. That was spectacular. You could really feel the emotion. You only get four chairs if it really moves the room. 
I could feel a few pitch issues when we did turn, and I think that's normal. So much nerves. Yeah. 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 <laughs> okay. like, how are you going to bring that up? Like, he's, he's performing in front of a bunch of superstars, and suddenly they turn around, and you're going to dog on him for his pitch? Mm. <laughs> Turn chairs and I did it. Ah! <laughs> yeah, I can only imagine. Totally understandable. I, I wouldn't. I, I, I would probably lose, lose control of my bowels at that moment. <laughs> really beautiful. I'd love to have you on my team. I think you're special. From the moment you opened your mouth, I was like, "This is my guy." Like, I love your like voice. I was, was hovering. hovering. Yeah, I was like she this was the whole time mm. because I was like, "Your voice is so warm, but you also have like so much texture to your voice. Mm. Little nuances that you were doing at the right exact moments that make." I like that. I like that term, the texture to his voice, because he does. He has a he's a natural vibrato, nice natural vibrato. Um, he does have a nice texture to his voice. He has a rasp to his voice. Um, I. The only thing I would say is I would fear a little bit of damage in the future if he does too much too quick. Um, he's got some building blocks that he still needs to put in place to make sure that that voice holds up steady. I'm not talking about his his talent by any stretch. He has it. He has the talent. But um, there are techniques to keeping the quality of your singing voice over time. It's There are just... It's like dancing. Everything always comes back to a set of basics. For a lot of dancers, it's the ballet bar. For us, it's really kind of just standard safe singing, coming back to it, finding those placements again, and then going back out there. So he just needs those little tools, those little adjustments. He'll be perfectly fine, set for the long run. I mean, he's wonderful now, but for the long run, uh, longevity of his career, because he sounds amazing. Feel emotional. I was so excited for you because the look on your face and just, it's weird to me to think that you're that shocked that you would get four chairs. Very. Well, <laughs> listen, this is a whole TV show situation. There's a lot to learn. It's a boot camp. You need a cheerleader like Gwen Stefani. You'd be my to... cheerleader, yeah. Yes. That would be awesome. <laughs> you too. <laughs> I would love to coach you. Hi, Dylan. Hello. I like that. I like that they're kind of fighting for him. They all got nice things to say, you know, so nobody's nobody's ribbing on them. There's no Simon just making things up and just and making people feel bad. It feels like the emotion of the song is really real to you. When I saw y'all turn around, I saw my mom. Oh. She passed back in October and she wanted me to sing it at her funeral. Oh, no. oh my god. So goodness. I did it, I tried, but I oh. couldn't make it through it. I can't so, believe that. This was the best second chance. I just oh. made her so proud. Wow. <laughs> yeah, you did. Shoot. Okay, now you're gonna have me crying. Man, that's sad. Yeah. Yeah, wow. Yeah. And to bring that out on yourself, you know, on stage, he's not, he's, he's already got the four to turn, you know, and so I, I'm, I'm proud of him to celebrate that. And I hope he continues to do so throughout the rest of this. Well, now I'm crying. Me so. too. <laughs> crying literally this was crying. this was her dream before it was mine. <laughs> well, that's very moving. We're all very grateful that we get to do this show and we get to meet people like you, and we get to give you this opportunity to perform this song in tribute to your mother. And we all felt it too. And I know your mother's proud of you. Okay. Thank you. Oh, man. Well, I don't know who he's going to go on with, and it's not really my bag. But I'm sure he does, clearly. He's a phenomenal entertainer. I don't know how much experience he has. I don't know his background. I don't know anything about him besides what I just saw. But uh, Dylan Carter, you're a class act, sir. Wonderful voice, wonderful message, great connection. And you made me cry. Thank you so much again, Dylan. And good luck on the rest of this.